This is my Elite Dangerous Odyssey review. Before you buy Elite Dangerous Odyssey, let me share with you my hundreds of hours of experience I have had playing this expansion since launch. The Odyssey expansion was the blending of two different games into one. This update gives commanders the ability to get up out of their chairs to walk around within the glory that is our Milky Way galaxy, mostly to do pew pew. Here is the thing commanders, even though I have had an overall good experience with Odyssey, that doesn't mean every commander who has played this expansion from day one has had the same experience I did. Many people have reported laggy gameplay due to poor optimization, more bugs than you can possibly count, as well as the inability to play with their friends. In my opinion, the blending of Horizons and Odyssey was not ready and should have been pushed back. For the majority of commanders, the first few days of gameplay was nearly impossible. Only now is Odyssey finally coming together as a viable update for most players. What's truly sad is the sheer volume of negative reviews that are on Steam for this expansion. The fault does not lie on the paying customer's side. They spent their hard-earned money expecting a playable game. Instead, what they received was a gameplay experience that mostly ended in a horrible, buggy, crashing mess. The fault squarely rests on the shoulders of the one who set the release date for Odyssey. So what is there to do in Odyssey? First and foremost, this is a first-person shooter expansion. Its main focus is looting items and data at surface settlements in order to upgrade your suits and weapons. You can level them up to a max level of 5. You can also add modifications to further upgrade your suits and weapons. But then what? I'm a power gamer. In less than a week, I had every suit and weapon to level 5 as well as tons of modifications installed through engineering. I have to ask myself, is there enough content in Odyssey even for the average player? Here's the thing, on foot, even though it's the main focus of Odyssey, isn't the only thing to do in Odyssey. Mining in all forms as well as combat has had a facelift. Both are more dangerous and much more visually appealing. You can also hunt for life forms, but we'll cover that later in the video. Space visuals for the most part are glorious now. Some of the planetary tech isn't all the way in place yet, but space looks grand. The views on some of these moons and planets are freaking amazing. Although most of us feel the shading is far too dark in some situations. What does 40 bucks buy you? For the most part, you will be buying into a gameplay loot that solely relies on the game's grind to keep you playing. Other than upgraded space visuals and some adjustments to ship combat and mining, your entire existence revolves around upgrading your suits and weapons. That is the entire gameplay loop as of now. The sad thing is, once you reach that stage, no NPC or group of NPCs stands a chance against you and your gear. The trivial situations you face early on might seem hard, but in reality, the NPCs have nearly to no intelligence at all. This problem becomes noticeable even more so when you have max gear. They are basically moving body bags that are only alive because you deem it so, not because they are too challenging in any way. If you are a top-end FPS player, then you will be let down by the NPCs in Odyssey. They will not offer you the challenge you crave once you complete the entire purpose of the expansion, and that's to upgrade your stuff. Farming for assets, goods, and data isn't all that hard or time-consuming once you figure out where and how to farm, even for the casual player. This is what concerns me the most about Odyssey. This game will mostly be played by casual players. Even a casual player will rack up over 300 hours like I have, and then what? My biggest concern is not the bugs or the connection issues that came with Odyssey, as all of those will get fixed eventually. What concerns me the most is for 40 bucks, is there enough content for the casual player? In my opinion, there isn't, so I really hope that Odyssey has more in store for us once consoles release. There are goods and data that have no purpose right now in the game, but will once consoles release, I'm sure of it. Stuff like building vehicle and ship schematics, they currently have no use in the game, but certainly have meaning in our future. As far as what I like most about Odyssey, 
Well, I finally got to get out of my commander's chair after three years of playing Elite Dangerous. I got to run around and learn everything from scratch, which was exciting. And I absolutely love running around in settlements being the best of all space ninjas. Some of the stealthy characteristics of Odyssey are pretty amazing. What Odyssey does right, it does right. But there is most definitely room for improvement, especially when it comes to NPC AI. If it's too hard, new players will find it too difficult. Left like it is, once you progress, everything becomes trivial. So it's a double-edged sword, really. Maybe you just want to experience glorious space visuals while you hunt down new life forms in Odyssey. That is also another gameplay loop added with the Odyssey expansion. No matter how you feel about the plant scanning aspects, to me, it really just feels like an afterthought rather than a valid playstyle. Seeking out new life was perhaps the thing I looked forward to the most besides the upgraded space visuals. I was extremely let down by that game loop. I had hoped it would be so much more involved or grand, but instead you just scan a plant, then for whatever reason you need to go several hundred meters away to find genetic diversity over and over again. You make hardly any money for your time, and at the very end, when you do the turn-in of your sample, you get a two-line sentence describing what should be a big deal, but meh, it's not. Odyssey still has a lot of patching to go through in order to make it a full-release DLC. I will say that the dev team has been breaking their necks to try and salvage the situation of a rocky launch. For a lot of players, though, it's too little too late in their eyes. I hope FDev gets Odyssey in a good place and some of those past commanders will give it a second look, but if they don't, I can't blame them for having a really bad experience with Odyssey in the first few days of release. In most cases, people do not give second chances when money is involved. Hence why FDev should have made sure they were putting their very best foot forward come day one. Instead, everything that seemed could go wrong did which all boils down to beta testing in a controlled environment before a full release. So many headaches could have been saved for the team as well as its player base. I just hope FDev learned from this experience. So can I, as a decent sized content creator, recommend Elite Dangerous Odyssey to you, even with over 300 hours played since the update went live? Sadly, and this hurts because I have actually enjoyed the majority of my playtime in Odyssey. I cannot recommend you purchase Odyssey quite yet. More than anything, I wanted to say yes. Go out and buy this, you're gonna have an amazing time. But that could be a lie with your gaming experience. I believe Odyssey is getting closer and closer with each update they put out on a weekly basis. However, I just don't feel comfortable endorsing this expansion quite yet. For me, it boils down to content you can play and how fast you will run through that for 40 bucks. If you are a power gamer, well, you will hit the end faster than you hope. A casual player might get a month, maybe two, then they will be stuck in the same way you are. You are left with the game's grind to continue to keep playing. Not because you need to, but because you choose to. And that is truly the saddest thing when there should be more to do with an expansion this large.